Hey everyone, in this quick demonstration video, uh, I just want to demonstrate uh, the annealing operation of our burst fire two in one uh, annealing and case prep center. But in this video, we will show you only the annealing operations. Uh, if you want to check out the, you know, the, the, the case prep center demo, uh, go to our tutorial page and, you know, we have a video there uh, walking you through uh, just the case prep center. Now let's get into it. So first thing I want to mention is before we begin operating the machine, right? We want to make sure these, you know, all the attachments are closed and this is, you know, the gas are closed. We're not turning that on yet. And, you know, in our safety instructions, we have also mentioned, check the hoses, check the attachments, make sure everything's secure and locked in, right? Nothing is falling over. Um, personally, right? I mean, you know, uh, by the way, don't use gas tanks because they may rupture, you know, the large tanks, 20 gallon tanks, things like that. They may rupture the hose. Uh, only use these canisters. Uh, but most importantly, what, obviously, this, there's the smaller one with a wider base. They stand, you know, stay really well. But if you have one of these, um, obviously, you know, one thing we want it, you know, need you to do is just to make sure that they're secure, that they're not falling all over the place. They're not tipping over. Uh, so your torch is not um, you know, doesn't, you know, um, you know, if you walk away, you turn around, which we highly recommend against that doing that as well. But just in case you do, um, you know, you got distracted, this thing doesn't fall over and the torch burns it and explode. <laughs> right. Uh, so personally, you know, when I, whenever I have these and I do have some of these, I have the other ones as well. Um, you know, I mean, you can use a rubber band or whatever it is, but the handle becomes really handy now that you can use this too. I use one of these twist ties and tie it to the, the neck off the, the bottle and it works really well. Um, just holds it in place. So the next thing, um, you know, we want to do is turn on the machine, right? Um, push the, you know, push the button away from you, uh, in, in the number two position and that will turn on the, the annealing operation, not the case prep center. You'll turn on this machine and you can, you know, you will be able to adjust the, the speed of the wheel. And there's really only three buttons you need to use in this, in this case, right? Uh, click the run button and the default speed is at 50%. And, you know, you adjust it down and it goes slower, right? And if you adjust, you know, adjust it up, then it goes faster, right? And... You know, once we, you know, in a little bit, when we turn this on to the flame and begin to anneal the brass, you know, um, I would suggest to have a, you know, timer on your cell phone or a digital, digital timer handy so you can uh, calculate the time that it takes to properly anneal your brass. Or number two, you can use temp lac, uh 750 degrees rub it on the inside of the, the neck, right? And there are these little green paste with a brush. You brush it on and again, right? You let your, you lay your brass anneal and you time the amount of time it takes um, for that green liquid to turn clear. By the point that it turns clear, it has reached the, the proper temperature and that's, you know, that's the amount of time you need to, you know, you want to anneal it. All right, now let's, you know, let's uh, get in the only. All right, guys, this is the exciting part, right? So we have some two to three brass right here on, you know, uh, on the chute. And, you know, we have to, you know, we have the flame on, we have the speed adjustment set. Uh, and I measured this uh, off, you know, off, off video. We me you know, measure the time um, that it takes to anneal the brass. So the first thing I want to point out is if you look at the, the flame, you want the blue, you know, you want the, you know, the blue flame, um, you know, touching, barely touching, you know, there are, some people have different preference. Uh, blue flames are hotter, um, so, you know, so, it, you know, it takes, it doesn't take as long, but you also don't want to turn it on too high, right? Some people will, you know, I mean, nuke the thing, and, but then your flame, if you turn off the light, your flame will be shooting all the way here, and that's just quite dangerous, right? Um, and number two is, you know, as you can see, uh, and you want to anneal the brass just right before it turns red, about half a second or so. Uh, don't let it turn red. If it turns red and, and there's orange flames coming out of the side, that means the zinc is burning off and you're likely over annealing it. 
And number two, as you can see, you know, I angle the torch outwards, uh, not towards the body, but away from the body, out, you know, a neck and out. And that's the way that you, you know, you will want to um, make sure that you're pointing the glass and also not to burn the wheel, right? Um, you should never, you know, have to worry about burning the wheel. And if you do, it's usually there, <laughs> right? You're again pulling the right places. You're being set up this torch correctly. Um, you know, we had near anything from 300 blackout all the way to, um, you know, 30 out six. Um, you know, something as small as 300 blackout will not burn the wheel if you angle the torch correctly. Okay. And there you have it, right? And, you know, this, this chute will carry about, um, 275 or so, 233 brass, and uh, about 125, 150 or so, if I remember correctly, of, uh, 308, uh, 65 cream more. And you really just, uh, once you have set it up, it just goes, right? And, you know, as you're, you know, as, you don't have to load them all at once. As you are, you know, as they're going, you can load it. Obviously, just watch, you know, watch your arm and your fingers doesn't, don't get in the way of, you know, don't get in the way, right? So, and that's the beauty of these type of milling machines, right? There are many types out there. Uh, our machine is built for, um, you know, for doing large batches, whether it's the prep center or the annealing machine. Um, there are ones that are, you know, that, you know, that, that, you know, a lot of them do it, you know, does it by hand, one by one by one, you have to feed it for us, right? I mean, um, you know, you want to extend your brass life, you want to improve your uh, accuracy and consistency, and you want to do it in large batches. You want to kneel everything, right? Every, every one of your rifle brass, and this is the way to do it. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions.